Hey yo, this is Biggs with Team Funk Shop M3 Make Money Mindset. And I'm chilling with Dana from EIC. Dana, what's happening? How's it going, man? Man, lovely, lovely. So I, I understand we're gonna do a, a brief review, uh, go over a project called TCG. Uh, Dana, what exactly is TCG? Uh, TCG is a investment opportunity that came across the desk of EIC. Uh, one of our members and investors asked the EIC uh, board to look into it. So I started digging into it. It's a, it's a multi-platform metaverse NFT and uh, crypto um, universe ecosystem that's being built out right now. Okay. So it's, it's like a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not... Uh, a lot of projects are, are kind of pigeonholed into one aspect of crypto. You have crypto tokens, they're only crypto. Uh, you have NFT uh, collections that are only NFT, so they they don't build on each other. But TCG is, is literally building an entire ecosystem that is interactive with each other part of its ecosystem. It's not just one or, or none. Got it. And how long, how long have you been involved in the, the TCG project? Uh, well, EIC started with just focusing on long-term investments for uh, crypto. Uh, and then we realized that there's a lot of investors out there that are looking at metaverse and NFT properties. Um, uh, full disclosure, I am invested. I did buy a metaverse property in the TCG metaverse. Um, but as far as experience in the metaverse, TCG is the first metaverse in, uh, investment that we've uh, Kind of dipped our toes into so we are using tcg to set our own personal learning curves okay um, i my my partner brian and i we each bought in two plots of land on the tcg metaverse about two weeks ago so um since then we've been very active in their community we watch their their telegram chats i talk to some of their real estate agents and and developers um quite regularly now you say real estate agents that that kind of that's that's weird to me that there's real estate agents for actual metaverse lands? Uh, yeah, uh, I I thought it was odd too at first, but you know, when I went in to look and buy metaverse property, um, I quickly realized I didn't know what I was doing. And okay. the TCG metaverse, if you're familiar with games like Roblox or Minecraft, those are games you go in, you kind of run around, you don't really do anything. It's just, you know, you can do whatever you want, but it's a it's a free game, free explore type thing. Um, and then you have games that are similar to Skyrim. You go in, it's an open map, kind of like a sandbox, but they're quest. You you have quests, and that you know that that uh, moves you forward in the game itself. Uh, the TC Met TCG Metaverse has all of those things. It has a map. It has a world. Um, the world is set up so that you can conduct metaverse business for coins, for TCG coins, they're crypto, and make real world money doing it. It's set up so that you can get into uh, the metaverse and do like Skyrim and you do uh, quests and, and move forward through the game like that. And then they have it set up also so that you can just kind of jump into the game, into the metaverse without owning property and just do what I like to call a free run where you're, you're not bound by or obligated to commit anything or complete anything and you just get to explore. Um, but unlike a lot of the other games that do those, the the TC Meta, uh, TCG Metaverse is kind of layered it on top of each other. So all these different aspects of the different style of games are all happening at the same time in the same Metaverse. So okay. I might be completing a quest and I'll run against somebody, you know, I'll run into somebody in real time who is trying to just make money and run a business in the metaverse. Um, and then once I realized that, I realized, yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to buy some property because to me, it's going to be a good investment. Hold it right. for a while, maybe develop the property. It, it could turn out to be a good investment. Um, 
but I didn't know what I was doing. So I got into the TCG community and I said, hey, I want to buy land, uh, help. <laughs> and okay. they said, you know, uh, well, help with what? You go on the website, you you pay the fee and, and you buy the land. I said, yeah, but help. <laughs> and one of the real estate agents, they said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a real estate agent. I've been trained by this TCG um, development team to to help you buy the best property to suit your goals in the metaverse. Got it. So I got into I, I got into private messages with with the real estate agent and the real estate agents. I got to tell you, unlike real life where they're like, oh, they just want to sell the house. The TCG metaverse agents, the real estate agents, they ask questions. What's your goal? Do you want to make money? Do you want to explore? Do you just want to kind of have a place where you can escape from the real world and, and relax in your metaverse property? Do you want a big property to build a big house? Do you want a small property? Do you want a farm? Do you want to be close to people? Do you want to be far away? Do you want to have creatures and evolve creatures? Do you want to not have creatures and just work on harvesting? And every question that the metaverse agent asked me was designed by my responses to tell him not which one property would be best, but which style of properties would be best. And then he goes, okay, well, you know, based on the goals you have for your metaverse and what you want to accomplish, here's a list of properties I suggest. Here's the prices for the different size properties. And, and it really was a real estate agent, yeah. but it was, it was a real estate agent whose genuine concern was to make sure I am going to get the best experience for my investment. That is cool. That that is really cool that they they have so much time, effort, energy. Obviously, they they've gone through training programs, <laughs> so they're they're making sure that they can alleviate any um, <clears throat> any kind of for hindrance that somebody might have. They they they've any confusion they've crossed the t's and dotted the i's so anybody that might be interested has every reason not to, to be completely interested and and eliminates fear yeah yeah um, so that that's to me that's huge because i know a lot of people that obviously the metaverse is going to be a trillion multi-trillion dollar industry eventually hey with the way technology is going uh get in get into metaverse now even if you just buy a piece of land and hold it for 10 years you never know what it's going to be worth but the right. metaverse is going to be the next big thing so and and that's that's very very apparent um the fact that the that the tcg group has um gone through this much effort to educate people and to uh, support people in, in helping guide them in the right direction that to me that's amazing I, it is and it it the 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 personal touch where you know the questions they're asking are designed to give you the best experience instead of designed to make them the most amount of money um just from the questions and the interaction at the end of my purchase you know i purchased the land and then they go hey here's the map set your land where you want and they have you know certain restrictions based on what you buy but um, I had never been more more confident in my decision to invest in a project than I was at the end of buying land for the metaverse. And okay. and, and as I said, it's my first metaverse, uh, so my limited my my experience is extremely limited. But uh, I mean, as far as a first experience, TCG knocked it out of the park. Nice. Well, and we're we're gonna dive into like you said something about different areas, different styles. There's 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 multiple different ways to do that. We're gonna we're gonna dive into into more detail on that. Uh, how much time have you actually spent in the metaverse space? Uh, the metaverse space itself is not live yet. Um, okay. The map is live. You can you can buy land. You can set the land. You can um, scroll around the map, but not in detail. Um, they are either it's either in their beta version or their alpha version where certain people have been able to go in and test the gameplay They're, they they want to make sure the the transitions are smooth the frame rates are good you know the the mechanics of building or, or moving things around are good um but it is uh to the best of my knowledge and tcg i i apologize if i get the timeline wrong but i think they are supposed to launch in quarter three sometime mid to late july or early august okay cool that, and that's not far <laughs> that's, no that no. is right around the corner literally that's the way things have been going lately that's going to be here before any of us realize oh yes um so you obviously you you believe that 
investing in the metaverse within TCG was uh, a valuable asset. And it, it sounds like you are excited. Is this the first time that you have literally gotten involved in metaverse stuff? In, in metaverse, um, and, and like I said, TCG is is building an entire ecosystem. It's not just the metaverse. It's their crypto token, the TCG coin, which um, as far as crypto goes, I have a lot of experience and I, I continue to learn more every day, but they also have an NFT platform that they have built out that is fully interactive and fully compatible with the TCG metaverse. Um, so as far as the metaverse, this is my first experience. As far as um, NFTs and looking and, and learning how to evaluate um, value behind NFTs and what their utility is, this is my first time. But because of the experience I had when I was just asking questions about purchasing land right I, I decided to just go ahead pull the trigger i bought some land and now i'm i'm um watching the nft page and trying to determine which of the nfts i want to purchase for the game launch okay all right we're gonna dive into that too so <laughs> i'm gonna switch over to uh the website so we can review a little bit okay. um as as we go through this why don't you go ahead and, and explain what we're looking at all right so this is the this is the main website and if you see up top you've got your your different tabs um if you are unfamiliar with tcg if you're unfamiliar about how metaverse works or how ecosystems work i highly suggest you look through their white paper uh their white paper is specific to their metaverse but um I've, I've looked at two or three other metaverses now because eic is starting to branch out into looking at different metaverse investments um and any good project will have a very thorough uh white paper but they're all going to be similar in the just general basics um you have the partners tab it tells you what this tcg platform who their partners are and what aspects um so if you scroll down a little bit uh, these are all the partnerships that they have, and I'm not familiar with all of them, but if you scroll back up just a little bit, that very first one in the corner, Starship, um, that is a NFT partner that actually has avatars available in the TCG, TCG metaverse, um, and having a Starship avatar gives you certain bonus abilities or certain um, bonuses that activate while you're running around. Um, okay and and speaking of avatars tcg also has a partnership with uh ooh, i can't remember right off the top of my head but the, instead of just getting a generic computer generated avatar you can actually send in photos and they will take a photo of you and they will do a 3d digital rendering so that your avatar is most or more closely resembling in the digital world what you look like in the physical world and, oh, that's that's, cool. I, I, and i believe that that rendering um that uh form of avatar is free you just have to send in your photo and sign up wow that, that's <laughs> exciting because as a, as a fat guy i tell you, I tell you that, man. <laughs> they are never accurate, <laughs> never uh, accurate. Yeah. <laughs> so uh the game the swap and the pre-sale um the game i haven't the game tab i haven't explored yet because i know the game is not live um the swap tab it, it does give you a trailer it lets you know um it, it does give you a couple of videos as you can see on youtube that run around it is uh, about a minute and a half stupid don't lose your when building an online store you shopify's professional like they don't have Right, yeah. So this is this is going to be just a, a basic highlight of what the metaverse will look like when it goes live. Now that is not set in stone. They are constantly working on it. Constantly refining graphics. Uh, there's the avatar selection that I was talking about. Uh, oh, and I, I I have seen some of the NFTs that are going to be drivable cars. And those the NFTs for the cars are just wow. I, I, I plan on getting a couple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I plan on having a couple cars in my garage. So it's like a multi-layer game and, and like a game library all in one as well. It is a, yeah, it is, it, it, 
If you can do it in the real world, their goal is, I believe, to make it possible in the in the metaverse world and some things that aren't possible in the real world. Uh, right now, what you're looking at right on the screen is uh, property lots. And as you see, platinum, gold, diamond, the sizes go up. So the, the more valuable the land, you know, the plot, the, the bigger it is. I think silver starts out at four by four and then it goes up from there. Uh, gold, I believe, is 16 by 16. Uh, uh, platinum is 32 by 32 and diamond is 64 by 64. Wow. Uh, but in addition to to regular investors like you and I, they also have commercial plots, which are 128 by 128 and legitimate real world businesses can buy a business plot and start conducting business in the metaverse and generating real world income through the metaverse uh, economy, which is designed to be self-sustaining. Nice. Hey, and I have been on involved in the couple calls and i've heard i've heard talk about that it is it's totally interesting to me i haven't been able to pull the trigger on getting involved in the metaverse yet because there are so many different avenues and so many different places to go and so many different things to do and i all i can think is man i'm not gonna have time to do any of it yeah but i do know that i need to in some way shape or form need to get involved uh, well the the other thing i like about tcg or specifically the tcg uh, development team is um, they just recently had a sale uh, they've been working on their their metaverse property for a year now uh, and they just recently had a one-year birthday sale where all their silver plots instead of being regular price were half of a BNB. right uh, I, so I, I should have gotten one when I had the opportunity so that during that sale is when Brian and I uh, co-founder of EIC um, he and I jumped in and we each bought two plots for one BNB. Um, now, when the sale was designed to end originally, the community was so active in buying plots and, and so involved in snatching up and, and growing the, the, the metaverse properties that they, the community said, hey, you guys need to extend the sale. I'm not done buying yet. And TCG listened. They didn't say, oh, no, go and, and go back. They said, OK, we'll extend it another couple of days. And they oh, did. Wow. And it allowed more people to come in or, you know, maybe the end of the original sale was two or three days before someone got paid, but they needed, you know, they needed to get in on that sale. They listened to their community and actually gave the community what they wanted. Um, so scroll up right there. Those are avatar NFTs. Um, the one on the right, if you see it says Starship, that was the, the tab I showed you earlier when you were looking at the partners. That is a astronaut avatar. And if you scroll, if you look at the one in the middle, the greed producer, you get a 5% loot bonus for anything you do that provides loot. So okay. the different NFTs from their partners provide different boosts during gameplay if you're using that avatar. And if Got you it. scroll, if you scroll down some, a little more, oh, or is that the bottom? Okay, scroll up some just above that. These are their, their land plots. And you can see you've got Asia, you've got, uh, if you, right, right there, North. Different regions. Yep. So all the different regions have their own benefits. Um, the, the only one that doesn't have a benefit based on the region is the farm. Uh, but each, each different region has a different benefit or a list of different benefits uh, for, for uh, buying your property there. Uh, and, and they're all great. And that's one of the things like we were laughing, what is a TG, what is a metaverse real estate agent? Well, the metaverse real estate agents know what all the properties and all the bonuses for owning each individual area are. And based on your, your goals in the metaverse, they can put you in the right region. And then the, the farms themselves, those do not have regional benefits. You can put those in any region, but those are designed to help you if you buy a farm, you buy seeds, you buy your crop for, for TCG tokens in their ecosystem, and they have a, a maturation period. You know, you plant them three days later, you got a harvest or nine days, 12 days, it's a cycle, but right. it's designed so you buy the seed, you plant it, you tend it, you harvest it just like you would a real farm. And then when you harvest it and you put it back on the market, you get the value of what you spent for the seed 
plus an interest rate depending on what how long the cycle was and the bigger the cycle the higher the interest rate you get back and that's paid in tcg coins so okay. it's a so you spend tcg coins you grow a, a harvest you harvest it you sell it at the market you get your tcg coins back plus interest and then if you bail out of the the metaverse you look at your your crypto wallet you've got uh, an increase in your in your token balance, you can sell those for BNB and, and convert them and send them right to your bank account. And it, right. it really is a, a a hobby, you know, a just passive way to earn real world income potential. Got it. And shameless plug, EIC does have a, a, a metaverse uh, focused investment channel and the AMA that you were talking about that you were listening into. Right. Um, that has been recorded and posted in the EIC Metaverse Investment Channel pinned to the top. Okay. And I will make sure that I get the the uh, link to the Telegram in the description of this video. Yep. Um, and then when you, you're going to put it on your channel too, I'll, I'll send you everything so you can just copy and paste it. Yep. It'll make, it, make it real easy. Yeah, this will be this will definitely be cross posted between the, the SFM3 platform and the EIC YouTube platform as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to throw it up on, uh, on Funk Shop TV. Okay. YouTube, so tied into the podcast channel um because I, that kind of i this information to me is stuff that people that don't know anything about metaverse or crypto should learn about absolutely and and um little off topic of tcg but that's one of the main goals of eic is to help people understand the crypto world the metaverse world understand um the investment aspects of it so that they can make beneficial investments and it's one of the reasons why we we vet projects and host them amas with projects we think that are going to be uh sustainable or projects that you know my partner and i have actually personally invested in cool is, is there anything else on the website that you think we should in investigate now anybody can go to uh tcg.world if you click on the map let's let's see if that's the one that i think it is okay yep this is the one okay so you remember i was telling you that they have you know different aspects of of being a part of the tcg metaverse right you can do quest driven uh challenges you can just go in and, and relax and lounge around so close the the green arrow close that yep so this is the the tcg map is there a way to scroll out so we can see more of the map uh, down in the right corner, down in the lower right corner that, yep. Okay. We're scrolled out as far as we can. Okay. Yeah. So if you look just based on what I'm seeing right here on one side, you've got the airport, you've got the battle arena, you've got a, a racetrack. And then on the other side, you got fishing and another airport. Um, so the big squares on the outside are the regions, Asia, East, North, uh, okay. and I think West, uh, forest and West, the one you're on right now, that's forest. That's where both my properties are in, in that area of the map. Okay. Um, so the big block in the middle that says city, that is the TCG Meta City. Now, if you are not a landowner or if you are just one of those people that want to jump into the metaverse, get an experience, run around and explore, but you don't want to commit to, to spending money on land, you log in. This is where you're going to log into. You're going to you're going to populate in the middle of the city and just kind of explore outward from there. Now, if you own land, you'll populate on wherever your land is, um, but each of the regions has their own commercial area, which is the center of the map. So if you if you scroll down into the left, that's the down, yep, to your left. So this is the, the forest region, but those big squares right there, those are commercial. Okay. So those are, those are people that are setting up you know, real commercial real estate plots um, to to be part of the self-sustaining ecosystem in uh, the TCG metaverse. Um, the outer squares where you see the little uh, spatterings of green and blue and yellow, right. those are uh, open world areas where you can take whatever land you buy uh, and kind of just allocate them to that area. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that uh, TCG's Telegram, they have their main TCG channel, but if you own land, they have a TCG landowners channel that gives you announcements, highlights, um, certain benefits or, or anything that comes with being a landowner. And you find out first in the landowners channel before 
landowner specific announcements go out to the general public. Nice. So they they really, you know, TCG does a really good job of, of making sure it takes care of the people who invest in it. Okay. No, that's cool. I, man, there's so much, so much pre-thought has been <laughs> rolled into this. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Yes, you can tell, you can tell they know that it's going to be big. The metaverse itself is, uh, the, the metaverse in general is going to be big. They know it and they have done it absolutely right from day one, step one, one step at a time. They are not trying to rush out to market and go live. They want to go live, but they want to have the best product out there and it shows in their work. Nice. Well, we are 24 minutes in. We've got a few more minutes. Which which part should we make sure that people absolutely know about before we end this stream? Uh, we need to make sure that they know that it is an entire ecosystem. They have a TCG coin, which you can, you can find out about in their swap. They have a TCG um, Dragon NFT, um, which the Dragon NFTs are NFTs in and of themselves. They hold value. But if you load the NFTs into their metaverse, then you have compatibility. You have, they actually do, they have a function in the world. Um, their NFTs are very limited. There's only a set amount in, and to upgrade or do certain things, you're going to need a set amount. So as people upgrade their dragons and take certain dragons out of, out of circulation, the supply is going to get smaller and smaller, which means the value is going to go higher and higher. So if you don't have one now and you can get on um, a NFT platform and find one for sale, it if you plan on making uh, the TCG metaverse an investment, it may be in your best interest to try and get one or two dragons. Okay. Cool. Well, I, I appreciate your time. Thank you for, for helping me understand more about the TCG world. Is there anything else that you would like to close with? Uh, just if you like the video, you like the information we give um, me personally for EIC. This is not financial advice. I, I encourage everybody who looks at the projects that we highlight on our YouTube, do your own research and understand what you're investing in. Uh, join the the EIC Telegram channel if you're if you're confused and you need clarification. We're there to help. Um, but this, when we highlight projects on EIC's YouTube, these are things that we as EIC founders and investors find a use and a value in, and we want to share that opportunity so people can um, do their research into them and, and make educated and informed decisions to grow passive wealth. Nice, nice. I appreciate that. Dan, and thanks for coming and hanging out in the Funk Shop studio. I am Biggs. Um, we appreciate Everyday Investor Consortium, EIC. Again, the, the link for the Telegram will be in the description of this video. I know our squad is, is very supportive. We appreciate everything that you guys have done for us. Um, there's been a lot of guidance, a lot of information as new investors to the crypto space. We have learned so much in such a short period of time from your community alone that it's been absolutely incredible. So and I thank you. We're glad to have you and we appreciate all the all the invaluable additions that you guys have provided to EIC's platform. It, it has truly been remarkable. Why, and we are just getting started. <laughs> yes, sir. So I'm Biggs. Dana, thanks for being here. And uh, until next time. Absolutely. Appreciate it.